Well, hello again. It is I, Lala, from Lala's Wild and Crazy Golden Years. Welcome. I'm very excited about today's segment. It's going to be about my yays and nays of makeup, uh, hair care, skin care, body care, nutrition, all of it. But we're going to start with the most funnest, in my opinion, and that is makeup. We're going to start with a fun makeup, as I said, and we're going to start with my yays. Now, I'm trying to shop with products that are budget friendly and don't cost a lot, but I'm not um, giving getting rid of any of the um, perks of the high end. I'm getting quality products and they have the things in it that I want and none of the stuff I don't. It's amazing how, how things have changed in the beauty industry and one of it is the makeup and the competitive prices. I love it. So I did some research and I have found this. Re Revlon Illuminate Skin Care Foundation number 201, 5% squalene and hyaluronic acid. And this stuff is just, I'm telling you, oh my, oh my. It, it goes on beautifully and flawlessly. Put it on the back of my hand and I take my sponge and um, I start in the areas where I have still slightly some red. Look how lovely it is. It just goes on just flawlessly and the color match is amazing. They have quite a few colors. So I've been using that and I'm I'm just for several weeks now and I'm just totally in love. And now there's another one. Now this is by L'Oreal and this is True Match Super Blendable Foundation N4 Neutral, which is a light medium. And this too is absolutely amazing and goes on flawlessly. This is a little different color, just um, a tad, which is going to be good for summer, coming up in summer, even though I wear sunscreen and hatch, somehow that sun still gets in there and darkens me. So this is just, you need to try it. And these are all very cost effective. I'm, um, this is probably, uh, they're under 15 each. Yeah. Okay, so those are the two foundations that I really love. And I am still in love with this um, mascara by Maybelline. It's Skyline or Sky High Mascara. And this is the primer and it is tinted. And then this is the mascara in black. And I just love their uh, very tiny um, wands. So it really helps with my lashes, making them purdy. So I'm still loving those and they're very inexpensive. You can get those at Walmart, Target, any of the stores like that. So I'm loving those. And then I am love, I, I still, I have still not been able to find any other waterline um, eyeliner other than this Urban Decay that goes on Y waterline and stays. So, and this is a high end, this is like $25. It lasts a long time, but still, I'm trying to get in the budget. So if anybody knows of any really, you know, budget friendly waterline liner that stays on, but if anybody has suggestions, I would love for you to let me know. And then I have got, fell in love with this um, lip liner by NYX. And this is the Line Loud Pencil. They, they make them so long. This is Trophy Life, LLLP14 for the color. And it's just a lovely, very hydrating uh, lip liner that goes on and it keeps your uh, lips, your lips, <laughs> it keeps your lips from getting outside the lines from your lipstick. So I'm really loving that. Now my favorite lipsticks, I'm still loving, you know, I just, the lip liners, because I use that as color and then I will put a sheer gloss over it. One of my favorite sheer glosses is by City Lips. And this is a plumping serum. So far, I'm just really loving this because there is no um, burning or, you know, your lips don't come like that, but it really does make a difference on giving a little plump because I have very thin lips. So I love that and of course, I'm loving the NARS, uh, their um, wonderful uh, lip gloss in Orgasm. It's just a sheer pretty pink uh, color that I'll, I just put on over top if I want a little gloss or just by itself. It adds a really nice color, so I'm really loving those. Then, oh, I'm still loving Born This Way, The Natural Moods. Oh, this is pretty much my go-to. Look at those colors. They're just gorgeous and um, well my new go-to and my old go-to is this Tarte palette 
that I'm still loving. This is Amazon Clay Matte Palette, and I've dropped it, so, oh, look what I did. So now my colors are falling out, but it's just a nice nude, you know, I, I prefer these. I'm also trying a new one that I got last a couple months ago, and because I don't usually do a smoky eye, but I loved these. I don't like, um, you know, creams. So I really like this. Oh, that was a little color card. For these colors in here, and they're very nice, soft. So I don't, you know, I'm not, I don't go anywhere where I need a real smoky eye. What I'm really loving is my uh, tap brow, Maybelline tap brow in ash brown, the pomade. I just, it goes on, it, I can, I have more control and I have so sparse of eyebrows that this just works for me. Plus my little, little tiny brush that really helps uh, make it so that I can fill it in. And then to set it because, oh no, I found out I have some, I found out just now that I have gray hair in my brows. So I got this Benefit little um, ash, or just a brown. I don't know if it's ash brown. But of course I can't read it. This little tiny, tiny little head on that. And I finish with that. And that goes over and darkens those hair. And it also holds what little hair I have in place. So that is the yays of my makeup. Now let me show you the nays. And there's not really too many nays. Uh, I've been very fortunate in doing research and purchasing items. There's been some that I haven't cared for. Now, this Il Miquelage, uh Woke Up This Way makeup. And it's a little too, again, too heavy. It's beautiful makeup, but it's still, it's more of a medium coverage. I thought I liked medium coverage, but especially, you know, for an everyday look, I really don't, but it's a beautiful makeup. So I'm sorry that it's not working for how I want it. And then I'm not liking these tube, I, I create, you know, the, cream eyeshadows because it to use them I guess I'm doing it wrong I don't know and then they have little cream ones in the thing that you, you dab them on with your eyes I don't know I just have I just don't have any luck with them and I don't like pulling my mature skin eyes I like to just place on the powders so powders are my favorite I thought I'd try these but it's just a no-go for me and then what I don't like is this brow uh, what are they got brow mascara they got little fibers in it this is by NYX. I didn't try any other, but I don't, I don't care for the fibers. I'm no good at applying it. See how thick that brush is? And it just gets all over and it, it just doesn't work for me. So uh, I'm not into the fiberish. Oh, and then <laughs> I got these little funky eyeliners and colors. Now um, I'm like, it's mostly I do a waterline. Uh, so these, they just were garish. They were just too bright and they're, they don't have a a nice little point so I'd have a thick uh, eyeliner and so it was, it was no fun. Then I found in a brush set this little tiny um, pointed brush that you dip it in water and then you dip it in a powder. I guess you could dip it in that and, and then apply it and it's, it works wonderful. I'm using uh, my what I used in the corner. I was really impressed with that. So I'm liking this little thing that I had no idea existed. That's pretty much for my yays and nays for the makeup for this time. But what I would like help with is now I, I still use this Smashbox. It's um, a primer and it for anti-red, but it doesn't say anything about pores. And I'm noticing that I have more pores than I do redness now. So if anybody could suggest a really inexpensive, this is very expensive, um, primer, but that works wonderfully to uh, eliminate pores and it's not cakey or, you know, and it's easy to apply. I would love for that suggestion. So now I have some new things that I'm going to try. This is a True Match Corrector Cream and this it's got hyaluronic acid. I'm trying to find products that are very moisturizing because of our uh, my dry mature skin and that's the audience that I play to. So this one, L'Oreal True Match, I haven't used it with hyaluronic acid. <clears throat> I did just start with this Maybelline Eraser Corrector, multi-use, um, in 100. They're both very light uh, concealer. And I'll let you know, that's in my new products, let you know the next time a new product I'm gonna try, is <laughs> a stipling brush. 
See those? They say that for mature skin, it's a wonderful way to put on makeup. I don't know if it's gonna be better than a brush, but I thought I'd give it a try. I hear so much about it, and I guess you go like this. And you know I like to pound things in, so that should be good. Then the next new thing I'm trying, now I have you Wow It, the under eye corrector for deep puffiness. Um, I think that has been a, a game changer for my eye bags. I, I'm always a little more swollen on this side. I don't know, uh, probably because I sleep primarily on my right side. I guess I gotta work on that. This stuff, the Wow It was really good. I'll tell you why I decided to try another one. This is It came out with this Bye Bye Under Eye Bags Deep Puff Tighten and Smooth. And this one it says you can put on under makeup or after makeup. So, and that's, that's important. I don't mind putting it on before and waiting the 15 minutes, but I need to put my sunscreen on and around my eyes. And it, it didn't hold up well. The Wow It didn't, it kind of separated and it seemed like the puffiness came back. Um, maybe I didn't wait long enough. So I'm gonna try this It Bye Bye. It just came out. It just came out. Okay. And now we do skincare. I'm gonna start with my face because I, I haven't, I just have a new product. I haven't tried it yet. That's what we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna try for this month and let you know how it goes because my skincare, and I will link you um, to the video at the end on my morning skincare because it's pretty much stayed the same. I'm having a, a great luck with those products. But I wanted to change up my exfoliating uh, face wash that I have. So I'm going to this Hydra Boost Exfoliating Cleanser by Neutrogena. It's very gentle. You can use it every day. I, I won't. I'll probably use it just a couple of times a week. It's uh, soap-free, oil-free, paraben, non you know, that kind of stuff. It's lightweight. Uh, yeah, has AHA in it. So I'm going to start using that to see if I can. Because I use the retinoid, I really feel that I need an extra exfoliant at least once or twice a week. And then I have, I'm still using this. It's still fairly new. It's a Gold Bond Age Renew Retinol Overnight Body and Face Lotion. I don't use it on my face. I use my um, uh, other retinoid on my face. It's more intense. But this is um, very inexpensive and it's gotten really good reviews. So I'll let you know how that's going. I've only been using it a few weeks. I've been using it get to talking too fast and then I have to go over my hair care these three products I'm still loving very much the Keratese and the dry bar are high-end but only using the the Keratese once a week is going to last forever and the Nexus is, is this big bottle and it was very inexpensive and it's I just love the feel of that and then the dry bar conditioner I use that twice a week and not once a week, but still, you don't have to use a lot. And uh, those have just made my hair so lovely and manageable and kept the color pretty. So I'm very happy with those. I've been using those about, I'd say, seven weeks now. Um, let's see, nutrition. Okay, so I'm still hydrating and drinking the powdered electrolytes. I put that in my water every morning and then I hydrate throughout the day. It's very important, so I haven't really changed that. I would really like to have your opinion on these products if you've tried them or if there's any product you would like me to try. Uh, high end is okay. I can compare a high end product to a low end. Done that. Um, I prefer to stay, you know, into the middle of the low end or the middle of the high end. <laughs> just to keep it because of the time in our life where we are, we're retired, um, we just, you know, we don't want to spend a lot of cash that we don't have to if we can get wonderful, beautiful products and the lower end. Oh, my light went out. Anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, and um, the ding my bell so you won't miss any videos. I really enjoy doing this for you. I've learned so much, and I love sharing it with you. So remember, life is short. Let's live it wildly and crazily. And again, don't step in anything squishy. Apparently I have, so I feel I need to warn you.